Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a review of the Millennium M150 Monster Hang On Tree Stand. Just got this, purpose really to take this up to Ohio next month for my archery trip up there. I've hunted out of a ton of lock ons, I've never hunted out of Millennium. So I'm basically going to unbox this thing, set it up, see what it looks like, uh, play with it, and then uh, just kind of give you an update once I get to, you know, hunt out of it a little bit and let you know what I think about it and uh, compare it with some of the other ones I hunt from. So. And if you don't mind, hit that like button and hit subscribe. Here's what it looks like in the box. Got the safety link. Guys, this is these are worth a ton, man. Just uh, for the safety factor these things provide, these things are fantastic. It does come with a you know your tree harness like all these do but i, I just hate all these tree harnesses come with these tree stands because they're just they're just a pain you know so i recommend getting a different kind of safety harness than that but definitely want one looks like we have a cam locks and extra things in here so we'll open up take a look all right there's some assembly required here and i'm just going to tell you i went with this tree stand for a couple reasons one i wanted the larger tree stand i just feel safer in a larger tree stand especially when i'm standing trying to take a shot with my bow i like the footrest on stands i already know that from years of using them but the main one of the main reasons is because of this whole cam lock setup where basically you strap this on the tree and then you just set your tree stand right into that lock there and set it up so but i'm going to tell you this is big this is a very big platform now that i'm looking at this and uh you know maybe i could have gone with the regular size i think it's the m100 instead of the m150 but uh we're gonna put this together and check it out okay half hour later i got everything assembled here I'll just show you this piece right here that's adjustable so depending on the way the trees angled or you know how things move you can pull that in or out to get it adjusted but here's the deal it's pretty sturdy and that piece right there is going to slip into the cam lock so you don't have to wrestle this whole thing up the tree you know to get it hung like you do with a lot of these climbing stands that's going to slip in the cam lock and i'll kind of show you what i've got going on over here just putting it on this sweet gum tree and this is a fairly large tree here okay so it's pretty pretty big around and basically you got this lock here and here's our cam lock and you can kind of see that so once you've got this in place you know you just be able to climb up pull your stand up and just slide it right down to that groove and then make your adjustment if you need to so that's basically the idea all right so i got it mounted on the tree and you can see i got a pretty level platform right there and when i first put it up it wasn't quite as level but basically i just kind of pulled the tree stand and we pulled this out there's a locking knob right here and pull that out just a little bit and level that base, which is really nice. You can't do it while you're in the stand, of course, but you can level it, you know, before you get in it, which is nice to be able to level that tree stand. A lot of them can't do that either. So your first strap, it's holding the bracket, stand sits, slides into. You put your second strap on. They got some uh, mounts here to mount your strap to. Once you lock this down, man, this, this stand is solid, okay? It's really solid. This is actually a piece of the woods that's really close to my house. I mean, I bet you go 60 yards that way, maybe 70, and you're gonna hit the side of my house. But it's real thick through here. I used to hunt this spot years ago. The problem is, if you look around these trees, there are all these cedars, low brush. You can't get up and have any kind of view. And I've got a lot of picks last year where they're slipping. I've got actually a lot of buck pictures where they come through this little hole, hole right here and then they kind of meander here and drop down through the woods here if they don't go that way. But I don't know if you see the green back there. I'm going to put a little small food plot there. I think I'm going to do some different sample sizes from White Tones Institute and see how they do it. I'm going to put one in here. After coming around this turn, there's a little hole. Put one over there and just try to make them travel plots. To try to get them through here. But what I've done is right up there is my Millennium Monster 150 stand. Just got finished hanging it. It's uh, end of July. Trying to get everything ready. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take a brush cutter, cut a, a trail straight through that thicket over to my house so I can walk in here without making noise leaving sand anywhere to hunt this spot and have to check the wind right. But I'm just gonna hop up there and another day when it warms up and just give you the final thoughts on that stand and uh, wrap up the video 
All right, so I'm up here in my Millennium M150 Monster hanging on a tree stand. You can see my tree steps down there. I've got about, I think, 20 feet of steps. So I'm right up the top of that. So I'm right about, you know, about 20 feet, give or, give or take a couple feet. But this is a solid stand. I mean, you see this? I'm kind of moving. There's no sway from the down here on the moving against the, the, the tree right here. There's no sway on that. It's locked in good. It's a good, solid, tight fit on the tree. It's solid. You got your cam strap here. You can kind of see where it, you put it into the cam buckle right back here. Two ratchet straps hold it in play. Put the seat down here. And you got a nice, wide, comfy seat. So, really happy with this thing. I will tell you one other thing. This tree stand does not make any noise. There's no, no squeaks or creaks or anything out of this thing. Uh, and the seat, you can move quietly on the seat on this thing. It's been a good stand. It's going to be my go-to hang-on from now on. All right, guys, I just want to wrap up this video on the Millennium M150 Monster hang-on stand. I just want to say that I used it last season. I got it at the beginning of last season to go hunt in Ohio, and I started the video then, but never got around to finishing it. I'm going to wrap it up. And it is into July 2020, getting ready for the upcoming fall hunting season, so I went ahead and got the stand set it up here and ready to go on this little spot that I'm going to try to hunt this year. just want to follow up and say... Uh, over the years, I've I've been hunting out of these hang-on tree stands for oh probably over 30 years now. Remember the days of those little bitty lock-ons with the chain and uh, doing crazy stuff, not even wearing any safety harnesses, which was crazy back then. But I've hunted in a lot, a lot of hang-on style of tree stands, and I got to tell you, this has been the absolute most comfortable hang-on type tree stand that I've been in. Number one, it's easier to hang because of that whole cam system where you just put the cam on the tree and then you lift your your, the the uh, hang on and just slide in the slot there to lock it into place and instead of have to hold the whole weight of it hanging against you and strap the straps on you just lock it into place with that so that's been a real big thing uh, with any of these millennium hang on stands but this monster stand is a little bigger than a smaller one it, one of the biggest things is when I'm bow hunting I like a wider platform I like a wider platform I feel like I'm safer up here especially when I go to draw my bow and I'm standing up and so forth especially if I got to bend and make uh, make tight shots kind of thing I just feel a lot safer safer in a, uh, a bigger tree stand. So there's a little bit more weight to this one. But the other nice feature is right down there. And that is the footrest, okay? And if you don't have a footrest on your tree stand, then you don't know what it's all about. But I'm just going to tell you, once you have a footrest on it, you don't like hunting without them. It just, again, it adds to the comfort level, the fatigue on your feet, knees, legs, etc. That footrest really works well. But... I hunted this last year and I'm going to tell you, I, I stand by it now, is this is absolutely the most comfortable hang-on style tree stand that I've ever hunted in. Anyway, that's just to wrap up my review. Lots of things to like about this tree stand. So stay tuned for some more videos and uh, give me a like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.